Welcome back. In this video, I will teach you how to install Age of the Ring and Realms in Exile. From the beginning to the end, in other words, starting in Age of the Ring and ending in Realms in Exile. And now, let's start. As a first step, we must search for Age of the Ring in our search engine and enter this site called ModDB. On this site, we will find everything related to the mod, including the versions it has had over the years. We're interested in the one that says Age of the Ring 9.0. We click on it and click Download. It will appear here downloading. Once downloaded, this file will appear. We simply right click, extract, and it will extract. I have made another video where I explain what applications are used to download files. But well, when we have it, we click on this folder and that file. We run it as administrator. Here, like a regular installer, we click Next. It will appear where you want it to be installed. I recommend the default folder to avoid any problems. Then, install it. It's that simple. I won't do it because I already have it installed. Once the installation is complete, this fairly simple launcher will appear. Double click on it and this will appear. Don't be alarmed, but you'll find more things inside such as map creation, statistics for each faction and the famous world builder. Back to that, click on those three dots and it's very important to activate PVP mode and toggle DXVK. This is so the game runs better and if you don't have it activated, it could cause problems if you want to play with friends or strangers. You must also click on this sign. From there, a sign will appear that says patch. Click yes and that's it. There the launcher will be updated. Since I have it updated to the latest version, I will not do it. Now I will show you in which folder it was installed. For that, we go to my PC, local disk C, program files x86, and here we will find the Age of the Ring folder. Inside this, there will be both the Battle for Middle-earth 2 and the Rise of the Witch King. And now I'll show you what the Age folder has. It has all these files, the same with Battle for Middle-earth 2 and Rise of the Witch King, so you don't need to install them separately since it comes all in one. Back to the Age of the Ring launcher, Let's see if it really works. Click on Launch Game and wait for it to open. And if it seems to work, this would be the menu. I'll go to Skirmish and show you how the game works. I'll choose the Gondor faction and, well, let's see how it goes. Here, if we look closely, we start with two builders. I'll start with two farms and here are the powers as well. I'll leave it for you to investigate a little how each one works, in my case. I'll choose Captain Horn, which basically gives buffs to my units. But anyway, since everything works perfectly, I'll return to the menu and exit the game. As I promised at the beginning of the video, I showed you how to install Age of the Ring. We just installed it, and now it's time for the submod called Realms in Exile. We repeat the steps for Age of the Ring, type Age of the Ring submod exile, and in my case, Google found what I was looking for. We click on Age of the Ring Realms in Exile. Here you'll find all the documentation that explains what it has, what version it has, among other things. Scroll down to find Age of the Ring Realms in Exile Launcher. Click on it to enter and download. It's as simple as that. Unlike Age of the Ring, this file won't be that large, so it won't take long to download. Once downloaded, extract the Realms in Exile Launcher file and this folder will appear. I'll move it so you can see it. Simply double click the folder and then run it as administrator. This window will appear. Since I already have it installed, the select install folder section is greyed out, but it will appear for you. You have to do this. When you click it, go to my computer, local disk C, program files x86 and select the age of the ring folder. Then it will tell you to install. Click next and it will take a while to install. You'll also find the language options here. There are only English and Portuguese. Once it's installed, click this button that says Play Mod. Now let's see if it works. We'll have to wait a bit. And if it seems to work, the Battle of the Last Alliance will appear as a cinematic. Spectacular. Magnificent. We did it, guys. Well done. Here we will find the main menu of the submod. I will go to Skirmish as I did before with Age of the Ring. But this time I will choose Rohan since it has a sub-faction. Well, here we'll find two sub-factions to pick. This is the new one, so I'll choose that one. And if you look closely, we have the fortress from the Battle of Helm's Deep. I love it. It's really beautiful. 
Those details look incredible. I'll build two farms like I did before, and let's see what the powers are like. I think I'll choose this power that catches my eye. Let's see how it goes. And just look, the pile of Uruk corpses from the Lord of the Rings movie The Two Towers. How nice it looks. But anyway, since that's all there is to it, I'll log out of the game again. This concludes my explanation of how to install Age of the Ring from the beginning and ending with Realms in Exile. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and see you soon. Until next time.